that in October of 2022, Peshota claimed her employment was terminated, at which time she was offered a severance of $3 million, which she accepted but says she was never paid. The documents say, quote, as a result of defendants discriminatory. You know, this is how a lot of these problems end up happening, man. And, and it's just so unfortunate, bro. These people got so much money and not only people with money, this is just everybody, right? Yo, if you told somebody you're going to pay him a certain amount, bro, pay them what they want. Y'all never heard what that, that boy Nit the Grizz said? Yo, he said the realest ish. You know what I'm saying? By the way, Nit the Grit is the guy who managed Ferry Wap. Yo, he said at the end of this song, uh, at the end of that song, he said, money on the wood make the business go good. Money out of sight causes fights. It's simple, bro. Yo, you can, bro, somebody might not fuck with you, but if you take care of them financially the way they're supposed to, bro, they're going to be happy, bro. Yo, if you're supposed to get paid on Friday, bro, have my money on Friday morning. I don't want my money on Friday night, my nigga. You feel me? That's just how it is. And that's what that's why 90% of these problems start. This situation with this shorty right here, her claiming that, oh, she was drugged, she was this, she was that. You know why? Because that $4 million wasn't coming in every year. That's why. That's why. If that $4 million would have been coming in, guess what? Shorty probably would have stayed shut. You feel me? Shorty would have let Kanye probably do what he had to do, say the things that he was saying, even if she wasn't with it. $4 million a year, though? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Most of these problems start when the money, when y'all mess up the money. You do business with somebody, pay them what they want. If you can't afford them, don't offer them anything. You understand? There's levels to this shit. There is levels to this shit, bro. You can't be out here telling somebody, yo, I'm a, I'm a you promise. Yo, because there's a lot of things you could promise, right? You could promise somebody, yo, um, yeah, I'm going to do you that favor. I'm going to send this. Like, there's a million things, right? But when it comes to money, people take that shit differently, man. When it comes to money, don't tell me you're going to give me something. And then the day come and I got to be hitting you for that. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's what it comes down to. Why? Yo, if I put in the work, right, or anybody puts in the work, the work is done. There's no reason why you got to sit there and chase somebody for what you already earned. No, that shit should be in my account the minute I finish. And that's what happens with these situation with these artists. Why is Kanye in the situation he is now with his assistant? Because he didn't give her what she wanted. Or not even what she wanted, what he offered her. Because he offered her $4 million a year and he didn't give it to her. Why is Diddy in the situation that he is today? Because he was fucking up the people around him. Diddy's problems. Diddy's majority of Diddy's problems today are because... He wasn't taking care of the people around him. Lil Rod. He was supposed to get paid a bunch of bread. He didn't get paid. You think Lil Rod would have been complaining if the money would have been right? Hell no. Lil Rod probably wouldn't be saying half of the things he's seen. And I'm going to tell you guys one thing. That's why Diddy is fucked. Because... The problem with Diddy is that he never took care of people the right way. You guys can go ahead and go back to watching the movie with Biggie. And I know that's a movie. Things were redone. But just go look at the movie. Biggie was getting ready to quit. Biggie was dead broke. Diddy's getting paid all this money. Diddy's been making money off of Biggie for months without giving him a single dollar. Signed him, didn't give him shit. Biggie said, yo, I'm out, bro. I'm done with it. Pulled up on, on Diddy. I, I don't know if I could pull up that scene. You know what I'm saying? That's like a remake of the, what the situation was. You know what I mean? And you could see Diddy hand over uh, Biggie a Big Mac. And he's like, Biggie's like, yo, what the hell is this, bro? Like, She's giving me a Big Mac for me. I want my money. And Diddy's like, open it. Open it. 
And when he opens it, there's a check in there. The point of the story is, bro, why F somebody over when you can take care of them? People's motivation when they do work for you is money. And you as a boss have to understand that. You as the person that's giving somebody the work or the, or the, or, or the whatever it is, you have to understand that they're going to want what they want because they're doing what they're doing because you offered them what you offered them. That's the motivation. You know what I'm saying? The point is to reach the goal to get paid. Imagine reaching the goal and not getting ish. Imagine working for two months for Diddy in a sweatshop. And then at the end of that, man's is playing you for the, for the money. You're going to crash out. You're going to crash out, bro. You feel me? Money out of sight causes fights. Most people could avoid half of the problems in their life if they took care of everyone the way they're supposed to, when they're supposed to. Because it's not about, it's not about you saying, yo, I'm going to give you $300 on Friday and then you pay the nigga Wednesday, but then, I, but then you're like, oh, but I still gave you the 300. Yeah, nigga, but I had to wait an extra four or five days, bro. You feel me? I had to wait an extra four or five days. Nah, my nigga, give me my money when I need my shit. 